Hello and thank you for watching this mini video tutorial demonstrating how to update tree or liana determinations stored in forestplots.net. Determinations can be updated using one of four methods, so make sure you choose the right method for you. The first option is to upload the new determinations with a new census import. So if you have a new census ready to go into Forest Plots, simply enter the new tree or liana determination in that file and the determinations will then update. The second option is to enter the new determinations during a voucher import. So if you have vouchers that are not yet in Forest Plots, enter the new determination with those vouchers. We have other video tutorials online explaining those two methods. The third option is to update the determinations manually, one by one, directly via the forestplots.net interface. We only recommend that method if you have a couple of trees and lianas to update and there are no vouchers involved. So for this manual method, Navigate to your plot in My Plots. Go into the plot and then into Vegetation. And then filter by tag or tree ID for the tree you'd like to update. Select View Tree. And then in this first screen here, select Edit. Here you can see that this tree is currently in debt. We want to update this, so select the edit icon and then start typing directly in the genus box. And then select the genus from the drop down box and then the same for species. And then select accept and save. So now you can see the new determination in this screen and if you go to the determinations window you will now see that the old determination is still listed here but the new determination is in use. The fourth option is to use the update determinations wizard. This video will now show you how to use that update determinations data import wizard. So log into Forest Plots and navigate the plot that you'd like to update. And the first thing we need to know is what format um, to get our new determination data into in order to match it to Forest Plots. So to find this format template, go to Data Import and then scroll to Update Determinations and click this green icon here to download the format template. Open up the template. So in this first sheet is a list of each of the column headers required for the template and then an explanation of each of them. And here is the template itself. So the first few columns contain information about what is currently in the database. So this is information that we need to get from forestplots.net. And then the second half is the new determinations, the new information that we want to upload to forestplots in order to make the updates. So fill in this template file, save it, and then upload it to Forest Plots. We recommend that you download a Taxon Manager plot dump found in Data Export to obtain the data required to fill in this file. So go back to Forest Plots and then go to Data Export for your plot and then select Generate Taxon Manager Plot Dump and open the file. Again, the first worksheet is a list of all of the column headers in the file and then a description about 
what they are. And here is the taxon manager plot dump. So the taxonomy plot dump is a list of each of the trees in the plot here, one tree per row, and then their determination information currently stored in forest plots and any vouchers there as well. So we can just hide a few columns to make the file a bit easier to work with. And now I'll copy and paste the format template headers into this same file. So now fill in the file for the trees that you'd like to update. So this tree here, tag four, with this voucher, 5001, it was collected from this tree. I have a new determination for this, so let's fill in the file. So firstly, tree ID. This is the unique identifier used by forest plots to link all information associated with a stem. So it's really important that you get this number right. If you enter the wrong tree ID, then the new information which we're uploading to forest plots will be matched to the wrong stem. And this can be found in the taxon manager plot dump in the first column, tree ID. Then plot code, that's easy, the code of the plot that we're up, that this stem is within. And then voucher code. So if the stem you're uploading has a voucher collected from it, and you're updating the determination with that voucher, enter the voucher here. The voucher must already be in forest plots. If this is a new voucher that you'd like to upload, um, we, you need to use the import vouchers method and, uh, and include the new determination there. So this is for vouchers that are already in forest plots. If the stem doesn't have a voucher, just leave that column blank. And then if you have entered a voucher, you must also enter the herbarium code. Again, this is found in the taxon manager plot dump. And then current family and current species. This is what is already stored in forest plots currently. So again, you get this information from the taxon manager plot dump. and then current subspecies and current variety. There's nothing there for this stem, so we leave those blank. So, so far, each of the columns have been information that is already stored in forest plots. So it, it makes sense if before you start working on the new determinations or the botanist starts working on the new determinations, they first download a taxonomy manager plot dump from forest plots and then start working on the new determinations next to that so that you already have all the information needed for the upload. Okay, so let's continue. So the next columns are all new information. So the new family and the new full species name, subspecies and variety. So fill these in using your new information. So that's my new determination. There's no new subspecies or variety, so I leave those columns blank. And then determined by, this is the name of the botanist that has made the new determination. This name must already exist in forest plots in the participants list. Um, so if this is a new a person new to forest plots, you need to send their name and their collector initials to us at admin at forestplots.net and we can add that name 
to the master list for you. And determination date, so the date that the new determination was made. Confirmation only. In this case, this is not a confirmation of a determination. This is a new determination. So we enter zero in this column. We only enter one to say that this is a confirmation if the new determination is same as the old determination. In order for the new determination to be uploaded to the database and to take effect, it must have confirmation only equals zero. Okay, so now I've finished filling out the template. You can see this stem here doesn't have a voucher, so there's no voucher information here. This stem, the new determination, has a variety, so that's populated there. And this stem, the new determination, is the same as the old determination. So it's a confirmation rather than a new determination. Also notice that there are a couple of vouchers where there is there are same as stems in the database. So these are stems that are also associated with the voucher, so that they're the same as the tree that the voucher was collected from, but they themselves were not collected. I've left those blank for now. Due to a new feature in the Update Determinations wizard, there is no need for you to include these same as trees in the upload file. As long as you include the collected tree ID along with its voucher code in the upload file, you will then have the option to auto-update the determinations of any of these same as stems during the data consistency check stage of the upload. Notice there's also a stem here which has a voucher in forest plots, but I've left this blank. So I'll show you what will happen when we do the upload. Okay, so we get rid of all of our blank rows so that we're only left with the things that we're wanting to update and delete all the unnecessary columns so that we're just left with the format template. And for update determinations to work, the column headers must be on the first row of the file. Save our file and we're ready to upload to Forest Plots. So log back in to Forest Plots. Navigate to your plot in My Plots. Update determinations. This time press Go. Thank you for watching this video explaining how to prepare your data for the Update Determinations data import feature of Forest Plots. You can now watch our additional follow-up video which guides you through the upload process.